Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will install CentOS from Oracle VM Virtual Box. You can choose any virtual platform to create a VM. You can use VMware as well. Let me quickly create a VM. So name can be Couchbase VM. In the machine folder, you can select your desired folder. I'm selecting CVM1. Type is uh, Linux. You can select version. You can mention other Linux 64 bit. Here you have to provide the RAM, how much you want to allocate to the virtual machine. It depends on your machine configuration. Mine is 6 GB RAM, so I am allocating almost 1.5 GB to this virtual machine. Depending on your RAM, you can assign 1 GB or 2 GB. Next, go with the default options. It will create a virtual hard disk now. This is a virtual box disk image. Size, go with the dynamically allocated size. Dynamically allocated means depending on the size you are putting into that directory, it will increase the space step by step. Pixel size means uh, irrespective of you are using that much space or not, it will allocate that pixel size to that hard disk. And this is a hard disk size. I'm going with 20 GB. Depending on your hard disk free space, you can go with 15 GB or you can go with 50 GB, 100 GB. Click on create. We haven't provided any operating system ISO file right now. Go to the settings, storage. So this is the hard disk we allocated 20 GB. So this disk, this is empty, right? Choose a disk from this. Click add and navigate to the place where your operating system ISO file exists. I'm using CentOS 8. Depending on your use case and depending on the operating system you are having, you can choose CentOS 7 or you can go with Red Hat Enterprise Linux as well. So I'm going with CentOS. If you want download link, simply you can go to the browser and search and download your operating system. From here you can download and you will get couple of links. You can click on any of the link and download it. So since I have already downloaded, I just selected that image. So click OK. Now you can start this. It is asking startup list. I'm selecting CentOS 8. I install CentOS 8. In a couple of minutes, you can see this menu. I'm going with default language. Click continue. After that, this menu will come. Keyboard, I'm leaving as default. And the installation source, you can ignore this as well. The installation destination, you can select this hard disk. Selected that. It should reflect here. No disk selected. Try again now. Click on the disk. Click done. It should disappear. Checking storage. It is good now. Time and date, you can select it. Network and host configuration. You can provide a custom host name if you want. I'm leaving default. For this configuration, you can enable it. I'm not modifying anything in the default settings. If you want to allocate a static IP address, you can do it here by keeping it manual and add it into the address here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going with default settings. It's enabled and click on done here. Security policy, nothing I'm selecting. Root password, you can give any password here. Click on done. Now to click it twice because my password is weak. And user creation, you can create any user. I'm creating a user with name test. I'm making this as an administrator. Click done. Now we are good to go. Begin installation. It will take some time. Installation is complete now, so I'm going to reboot the system. And you have to accept the license information. Check this checkbox. Click done. Finish configuration. Log into the test user. Let's go with the default ones. We can skip this. Start using CentOS Linux. Let's check the network connectivity. Connected. Now test the internet connectivity and the host reachability from the local machine. Let's click on terminal. If config. Ping Google. The network is reachable. To access it from the local machine, we have to add one more network setting. From the devices, network. We have one adapter here, right? This is NAT and this is for the internet connection and we just see we are able to ping Google and in the network setting we have to add one more adapter for host only network that we will do it once we shut down this VM. Let me shut it down. I'm powering off this machine. 
why we need to add one more adapter is you know from this local machine from my laptop I want to connect to that machine through putty or any other tool so for that uh, we have to add one more network adapter so I'm going to settings and click on network this is NAT one more adapter I'm enabling this is host only adapter in the list box I'm getting only one adapter virtual box host only ethernet adapter you may go out towards if you have pre-configured any adapters earlier I'm selecting this click on OK one more thing you can check this host only adapter check properties so if you want to allocate certain IP range you can do that uh, from the TCP IP so the allocated IP will be in this range this subnet range I gave it as like this DNS Google DNS so how to allocate this IP range you can go to your local system if you type IP config and make sure that IP range is not used by any other adapter see this is the adapter I have selected and this is the IP range I have provided for that adapter and this is not conflicting this range is not conflicting with any other adapter now I will go to the virtual machine start this machine so once it started whatever IP is allocated to this VM I should be able to connect from my local machine as well so that is the purpose we have allocated one more adapter so log into the test user once you log in check the network connectivity either net ENP 0 S3 you have connected already this second adapter you are not connected yet so I am connecting now so both adapters connected now connect to the terminal and check the internet connectivity as well as host connectivity from my local machine if config I have allocated an IP let's check the internet connectivity ping google.com ping it from my command prompt 192.168.56.104 request is timing out let me check what is the issue firewall is running stop the firewall service enter the administrator password stop it let me validate it is not running now let's disable this again enter admin password let's check whether it is thinkable from the local host we can see reply from the server let me try to connect one more time again there is an issue let me check after troubleshooting came to know that this adapter has few issues let me show you the status I have updated this IP range with 192.168.200 but somehow the VM is assigned with subnet range starting with 192.168.56 the reason let me show you here file menu host network manager here ignore this just added this adapter to for the host only ethernet earlier this adopter DHCP server was having 56 in place of 200 since we have assigned this adopter earlier somehow the node is forcefully assigning uh, an IP with 56 here which is not resolving from my local machine so to resolve it quickly I have created one more by clicking right here so it will create adopter like this so once it is created this is the adopter 3 it will assign some random subnet range here it is showing 135.1 DHCP you can enable it you can select this these fields will be automatically populated then click apply so this is how you can create a virtual box host only adapter I'm removing this just for demonstration purpose I have created this I have created a host only adapter through let me show you this is starting with subnet range 192.168.156 uh, DHCP yeah, as you see here these are the IP starting and ending I have uh, assigned this uh, newly created adapter to this VM from the network NAT this is for internet and this is for the connectivity host only adapter from this list I have selected adapter 2 click on ok and then start the machine after the machine is started we should be able to access the internet as well as we should be able to connect from my local machine so login now let's check the connectivity in google.com it's able to ping now check this config 192.168.156.3 try to ping it is able to ping let me connect ok 
not asking me the password because I have logged in already earlier. I tested the connectivity. This is all about creation of Centoy site virtual machine. You don't need to connect from here. If you are able to ping Google from here, it should be good enough. Why I have fixed this issue for connectivity purpose from my local host is to connect from this tool so that I can copy paste the commands that are required to install Couchbase and all. So that's all from the VM installation perspective. In the next video, I will install Couchbase. See you in the next lecture.